So a capsule endoscopy is another word or another description of a video capsule endoscopy. So it is basically where a patient will swallow something that looks like a Tylenol, a little bigger, and within it has maybe four or sometimes 10 cameras. And it really helps us take pictures or video of the small intestine. So we know we have the upper GI tract, which is the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. And we have the colon, which is the lower intestine, but there's about eight meters of small intestine in between. And before the capsule endoscopy, we'd have to go on CAT scans and surgery to really take a look inside the small intestine. So now with just swallowing a camera and, ho and holding something on us as small as a pager, we're able to pick up small lesions or tumors that may be growing in the small intestine before, before they become an issue and operate on them. We're able to evaluate abnormalities that may be seen on CAT scans or MRIs that aren't anything and don't even need to be treated. And we're able to really find sources of bleeding within eight meters of small bowel and know exactly how to approach them and what follow-up procedure that patient may need. In the upcoming years, we'll have more and more capsules that help us even better to detect either blood loss, to help us detect certain infections in the small intestine, and really unlock the little tr truths about the microbiome that involve the small intestine. So video capsule endoscopy or capsule endoscopy are ways for us to minimally invasively, as an outpatient, find and evaluate and eventually understand how to treat diseases that involve the small bowel, which up until this point was really the frontier of endoscopy because we just couldn't get there, a minimally invasive process. Now we're able to get there, see it, envision it with great high definition pictures and understand what needs to be treated and what can be left alone. So with the advent of capsule endoscopy, what once was unknown area within our own digestive tract is now an area that can be visualized in high definition and we can really understand what needs to be treated, how we can treat it, and what doesn't need to be treated. It's eliminated the need for hundreds of unneeded surgeries and interventions. It has enabled us to characterize and treat and diagnose disease in a much quicker fashion. With more and more utilizations and utilities and advancements in this type of technology, we can really see, find, and diagnose even more diseases and understand our bodies even better in the upcoming decade.